Hi, welcome to this to increase product demonstration. Today, we would like to show you how easy it is to integrate Microsoft Lifecycle Services with Rapid Value. Before we start, I would like to give you an understanding of the difference between BPM and ALM. BPM is a systematic approach to modeling, automation, execution, control, measurement, and optimization of business activity flows in support of enterprise goals. Application lifecycle management is the governance and maintenance of a software application throughout development, deployment, and use. However, when using these solutions together, Rapid Value and LCS help Dynamics AX customers align technology with strategic goals, mitigate implementation risk, drive system adoption, and optimize software efficiency throughout the ERP lifecycle better together. Let's take a look at how Rapid Value can support an integrated flow with lifecycle services to basically create an end to end scenario from business process management point of view, all the way down from defining the model and managing the business process model in Rapid Value into LCS. As you can see right over here, I am navigating into the customer solutions area of Rapid Value. And one of the things I can do now is actually navigate into the solution itself, which is for Fabricam, one of the customers that I'm working on in this particular case. I can navigate to the editing of this solution. And one of the first things that I want to facilitate is to make sure that for the sake of easy navigation, I'll enter the lifecycle services URL into the setup of my solution. So I've done that here. And the great part of that is that I can go to publish. I can go into browse LCS and use one of my browsers here to directly go into LCS from rapid value as such and navigate instantly to the appropriate project in LCS connected to my rapid value BPM content. As you can see here, Fabricam manufacturing is the right project. And that is exactly the same project that I am looking at right now over here in my BPM environment. As you can see, I've worked with the business integration solutions to make sure that all the integrations for the manufacturing operations are defined and that we know what to do from a process point of view to make sure that they are going to run properly against the specification. And here is all the processes that I need to sign off on before that all happens. And this is all done. I got everything here in place. And what I want to do now is publish this to LCS. So let's go ahead and do that. I can choose the language, as you can see here. I'll just stay on the original one. Click OK. And right now, I am going to create a brand new file that I'm going to pick up for LCS momentarily. There we go. Fantastic and very helpful message here that can pick up my data directly from this folder. So let's go back to LCS. As you can see, I'm busy with creating the business process library. I'm done with my functional specs. I did this in rapid value. That's pretty great. So let's navigate into the business process modeler of LCS. So there are a few libraries in there already that I want to deal with that I am actually polishing myself. I want to upload another one, which is going to be the one that I worked on earlier. It's a manufacturing one, and this is about basic integrations with shop floor systems. So gotten in there, I hit the upload button in LCS, and I can see my just exported file right here. That's great. I just hit the button upload in LCS and Sinecure. Yes, you can see right now being uploaded as we speak. And we have success. Great. Good to see that. I can now basically navigate one step back here out of the scenario and go into the basic integration with shop floor systems. This process hierarchy right here obviously looks exactly like the core business process from rapid value. So if we just toggle between the two of them, we can see that these three hierarchical concepts here are basically one on one now migrated into the structure of LCS. And I can open it up in a similar fashion as I can open up the same structure over here. You can see the flow here and I can see the flow as well for LCS. 
I can go into this area, define project right now, and if I define the project here, I get into the full process view of that. And right now, essentially, all the information has also been passed into the project, as you can see. All the items that are connected to AX metadata menu items are now also created according to the LCS setup in the system as well. In this case, of course, the process is rather focused on a structural setup with regards to the steps that you need to perform in Dynamics AX. However, as you can see, the properties here, we can also enter the Visio flowchart here which is basically a representation of the flowchart that we also have created here in Rapid Value. There will be next a manual step to take, but of course it provides a lot of value. Now looking at the next step here, we have now actually done this, and I can actually click on the different buttons. I can see all the detail all the information that is basically picked up on this particular item, and I can move this forward from here. Thanks for watching this demo showing how easy it is to integrate LCS and Rapid Value. For more information, please visit www.toincrease.com. To find out about more to increase customer wins, or to learn about our extensive portfolio of enterprise ERP solutions for AX and NAV, visit us on the web at www.toincrease.com or email learnmore at toincrease.com.